All right, part one of the install of the head unit. This is that metrics kit. This bracket comes with it. You'll fit an existing holes and screw it in here. In here, and you're gonna tap out these holes. Not tap them out. Redrill. That's gonna move your unit down for the hole. Double den, the alpine. Get that drilled out. You better screw everything back in, but don't make them bigger than you need to. It says what size on that paper, but that's got to go a little bigger. It's not the right size, but anyway, cell tappers work great. All right. All right, we got this drilled out. Now we're going to do some cutting. Um, you see what I'm talking about? It's uh, the top one. Usually we cut these brackets. I cut these brackets. I don't know why I keep saying we. It's only me doing this. Usually I cut these brackets, but these are bent over. I've done the T. You see the new marks right here. Right there. Now, it's only neat, somebody already, they had tabs on the back of this, so whoever done this before put the other head unit in, actually broke the tabs off and just screwed it in, which seemed like a pretty, seemed like a better idea. You know, it actually more secure than those plastic tabs, but you still gotta screw it in regardless. But anyway, and she moves, let's see, from here to that one. You know, she'll be there, but you can see the little gap so that bottom bracket, that's why it's got to be cut out. And of course, the, the top bracket because of the head unit. So let me get that cut out and uh, with the old trusty Dremel. Yeah, I know I need a new one, but this thing's been pretty good for a couple of years. Uh, I wouldn't advise using a big ass grinder. Um, if it gets away from you, <laughs> good luck. It'll run up the dash. You know, I don't want to tear none of this up. So. I just take my time. And sometimes you can grind these little, pop these rivets out too, which I did on one car. It, it, these rivets actually were so loose that we just popped them out and the whole thing come out, you know. But um, anyway, another word of advice, what I've been started doing that I cut the first one out, but this one, not this one, ones that I've done before, I've only cut, I'll go from here and I'll leave the support in the back here because you don't need to cut the whole thing. You do that, you leave this support, it gives this some structure, because y'all, I'm sure everybody's had trouble with this, and this bottom bracket will hold it in more, but when you cut this one, this here wants to pop out sometimes, but if you leave it connected, you know, it just gives a better support. It's up to you. I like to leave them in, just cut out what I need for it to fit, so, and I would have, this one's got to come out, though. That's, your head unit's not going to fit at all. You might as well cut it all the way out, but anyway, we'll get to cutting it. All right, we're going to go ahead and cut it, but I want to give you all a little word of advice. I know sometimes on these Dremels, they uh, give you that little tip, but what I do, y'all know the little rubber one that you use for the grinding wheel. Take the little rubber grommet off, and you have that little washer right there. And you also have a washer on the bottom that you can squeeze this thing together, get, get together, give it more support, give it more support. So that's just a little tip. Uh, Y'all might have figured that out before me, but these work a lot better than that little one Dremel gives you. But, all right, we'll get to cut. I'll shut up now. All right, she's done. Well, it's cut out. Now I'm going to go ahead and mount the head unit. See, I just did this and bent it over and cut this on an angle. Still left there. It gives it plenty of rough room. You got a plug right here that goes this way for it. So you have plenty enough room for that. Um, audio plug here, head unit. I don't know. I don't think I have to trim any of that, but we'll see. I don't know how far they cut it back, but I didn't do this. It was like that. Usually I, I cut this whole flush, but, um, we're going to test it, see how it fits and, um, go from there. Okay. There she is. And that's how she mounts. <laughs> Original holes here. These will be a little off. You can put them there, but... Anyway, I had to trim the brackets on the back because I didn't want to cut that out. But yeah, I just wired up now. And then uh, this is still loose. I could pull it in and out because I'm going to, I still got to adjust to the, y'all know. But as far as that goes, we're going to go ahead and wire it on up, get power. And I got the amp in. Should be able to get everything in and up in power, everything but the subs. So, and then. When those come, we can start building the boxes for the rear uh, compartment. That'll be fun. Always is.